Here we go. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday, and it is Veronica here, and I am very excited because I am showing off our latest finds from our beads and brooches collection. We had tons of gorgeous brooches this week, and per usual, brooches were our hottest item again this week. So if you are new here, welcome. Let me know where you're from. And if you're joining me, one of the things that I was going to talk about a little bit tonight was how and why to start a vintage jewelry collection because we have a lot of new followers. We have a lot of new people joining us in our private Facebook group, a lot of new people on Instagram and lots of people have questions about how and why to start a collection. And I wanna let you know that there are three things that I always tell people about why to start a collection. So the best part of starting a collection is the pieces are really unique and you cannot find them any place else. So case in point, lots of people have been asking about this gorgeous bracelet this week. And, you know, I'm not using any special lights or anything like that. And you can just see this piece is so sparkly and so gorgeous. So that is reason number one. The next reason is, is that if you are looking for a way to be part of the sustainable fashion movement, uh, to be part of the eco chic, to be part of the secondhand first movement, you know, one of the best parts about finding gorgeous treasures like this is you're doing something really wonderful for planet Earth too, or Mother Earth, uh, because all of these things have lots and lots of life with them and they are all absolutely fabulous pieces. And this is one way to be able to be environmentally friendly. And so often we talk about secondhand clothes and you know clothes that are secondhand and everything, but I wanted to remind everybody that the jewelry never really wears out. So as long as you take care of it with minimal care, you'll get to enjoy it for decades to come. And the third reason why I like to tell people is the quality is not the same as, for example, when you're shopping today for costume jewelry. The plating is different, the stones are enhanced set. There's lots of things that you can appreciate about these pieces that are from the past. And many of them were made right here in the USA too. So if you're new to collecting, these are all wonderful reasons about why to collect. And if you're also new to joining us, please don't forget that there are great resources to help you start a collection too. So we love to kind of take you on that journey, help you find out a little bit more about the pieces that you like and that you gravitate towards. Of course, I have always my favorites, which that's what I'm gonna start off, of course, talking about tonight. And like I said, this was the beads and the brooches collection and brooches were definitely our most popular item again this week though we had tons of gorgeous necklaces that went off to new homes too so let's chat a little bit about the new finds that you have i believe Ms. leanne is standing by and she'll be giving people links so if there's something that catches your eye otherwise thank you very much for all of your purchases this week thank you for your patience with the post office i know it has been just crazy. Uh, and besides that, I just wanted to let everybody else know that if you have any questions, now is a great time to ask, especially if you want some details on the pieces that maybe you saw this week, or maybe you're just a little curious about some of the finds that we have. So it's your time to be able to ask about them as well as catch up with all the other jewelry loving ladies who are joining us. And I see we have a lot. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Gail. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Lots of women joining us from all over the world. So that's awesome. Also, remember, if you commented on the blog post last week, dun, 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 um, I am giving away a $25 gift card to VMM. So stay tuned. I've got the names in here and uh, we'll have a little visitor in a little while and he can come out and pull them. So we had a really awesome week. Just to let everybody know, one of the important things that we always talk about here at Vintage Meet Modern is how wearable the pieces are, whether you are dressed casually or dressed up. My blouse is from Ann Taylor tonight. Uh, it's something that I've had in my closet for a few years now. So it is definitely one of those pieces that I have changed the look of over and over again by adding different jewelry to it. So I'm very excited to start off this evening with some of our finds. I'm going to start off right away 
with that gorgeous cherry amber Bakelite necklace. Uh, I love these pieces. They are from the 1940s. And one thing that I love about them as I'm looking and showing you is that you can just see they have a very gorgeous amber red glow to them. Now, fun fact about these really beautiful red necklaces is that, again, these are pieces that are going to look different with different kinds of colors that you put. So, you know, when I'm putting this against the purple, it's picking up against the lavender tone. So it's giving you that blue red color. But I've seen this also, and I have worn this before with both a yellow color, and it really pops a bright red when you put it against yellow. And I've worn this also with orange as well. And when you wear it with orange, it also has a deeper vibrant color. But this is another great one to also wear with classic white. This one has a very teeny tiny little clasp on it. It's different than even having the spring ring clasp. And it's time for the first part of the evening for me to get a little nervous that I'm not going to be able to get it hooked or unhooked. Now, there we have a couple different lengths of this one, which is super fun. We have both a longer and a shorter version. And what's really beautiful about this is not only is it a great length to be able to wear year round, it is feather light as well. So for those of you who love necklaces, but you always do be mindful of the length and the weight of necklaces, this is a really beautiful one. And then of course, it's also Bakelite, which is very collectible. Bakelite is out of production. It's something that's no longer made and even recreated. And the Cherry Juice Amber Bakelite is of course one of the more prized colors. So this one is a super fun one. Like I said, it's a great length and it's also one of my favorites to put with some of the other pieces that we have. So one of the fun things that I always love to talk about is I like the references that we can talk about that have to do with some of our favorite shows and movies as well. So if you're a big fan of Mrs. Maisel like I am, you'll notice very frequently that both Rose and Midge usually have coordinating pieces that they wear not only with their dresses and their suiting, but they actually have the matching brooches on their coats and on their jackets and on their blazers as well. It was considered very opulent to have all the pieces of the set or to get all the pieces to match together. So one of the things that I really do love about the Cherry Amber Bakelite is that it goes so beautifully with this gorgeous brooch that we have that has got the bright red deep stones. It has just a tiny little bit of a floral garland going around it. And then it has the complementary bright pink. So again, one of the things that I love to point out again is that I have a lilac colored shirt, but this one will definitely pick up different shades and different colors with whatever you put with it. So this one is a very pretty one because we showed this off yesterday and this was part of our Tuesday, Tuesday collection. And I wanna let you know, 50% of you voted that you loved the necklace and 50% of you voted that you loved the brooch. So we're right down the middle. And then there were several people who said, well, I love them together and I couldn't agree more. So I really like the way that these two pieces go together. I like that you can bring out the red shimmering color that you see in the faceted cherry amber Bakelite. And I love that you can play up on the vibrant red color. And then of course, this is one of those pieces that I was talking about that when you put the red, it looks so beautiful when you put it on with the pink as well too. So this one is a great piece. It's super fun, very easy to wear, uh, very nice detailing, especially when you look at it and you see that it has the little leaves going on it too. Uh, the plating is all intact on the back, as you can see. We've got that gold plated, 18 karat gold finish. There's no wear in the plating. Just to let you know, there's also no wear on the prongs as well. These are open back red rhinestones, so you really get a very sparkly finish on them. And then of course, when you're putting it with different fabrics, it's very easy to be able to pick up and see different shades of the vibrancy. So this one is definitely another one of my favorites. This is also another one that you could use the brooch converters and you could easily be able to turn this into a really pretty pendant. Uh, this one also, if those of you who are already thinking about fall fashion, 
which is crazy. I don't know if you all think about and go on Pinterest from time to time, but fall jewelry trends and fall fashion trends are already beginning to trend on there. And one thing that we are seeing is, is that these deeper colors are always popular and then shades of cream. So like your sweaters, like your traditional cream and cashmere uh, is also going to be trending. So, and this looks absolutely funny against white. So we've talked a little bit about the gorgeous red pieces that we have. I'm going to very gently try to get this one off. Ta-da! Uh, and it is. It's a really beautiful piece. Up next, I am going to show you this absolutely, as long as we're talking about beautiful, beautiful big pieces, we have got this absolutely smashing Nolan Miller brooch this week. This one is a very heavy silver rhodium. It is a bouquet style and it features sort of a bluish tanzanite with a light or pale amethyst colored rhinestone going with it. This is one of those really fun, fabulous pieces. Nolan Miller was a very popular designer in the 80s and the 90s. He provided a lot of the big, flashy designer sparkly jewelry when you watched shows like Dynasty in the 1980s. But his pieces were also very well known for their craftsmanship. He also provided a lot of pieces, like I said, for television and also for movies. And so there's just a really nice attention to detail. This one is very heavily rhodium plated. Uh, the rhodium plated over the silver really makes it very sparkly and very shiny. And this one has got a nice little details of pave set rhinestones within it. And then it has these beautiful little prong set stones too. This one is another really great one if you're just starting about thinking a collection or adding to your collection, because this one also with the pave accents looks really nice with a classic diamond stud or even a classic platinum little bead or a little huggy hoop. So for those of you who have some fine jewelry, this would be a really beautiful one to mix with it as well. This one also would be another one of those pieces that would just be absolutely fabulous to wear with a cowl neck. And it's another one that's a really nice piece to be able to mix with, you know, closing your shawls and your pashminas. And as you can see, this is another one that really fills up the side of a blouse nicely. Uh, this is a very light crepe fabric, but it still pins against it very nice, very easy. Uh, and it's another one that's very well designed and that it's going to hold and stay in place. I love this one because it's got that very pretty color combination of the blue and the purple. Uh, and it's just another one that has just such great workmanship. So when you're investing in a piece, you can feel really good about it because this one, the stones are very expertly set. The pave is very expertly set and the plating is so thick and multiple layers that there is no wear to the platings as well. Hi, Amanda. Thank you for joining us. So I am talking about this gorgeous Nolan Miller piece, and it is an absolutely smashing piece. This one would, again, be a great piece to add to any collector's collection. Or if you're just starting out, remember, one of my tips is always to pick brooches because they always fit. All right. Up with our collector's style pieces, the next piece that I want to show you is this absolutely gorgeous layered Juliana piece. So this is a verified Juliana from the verification website. Uh, it's also very similar to some of the designs that Ann Pittman talks about. This one is also in a heavy 18 karat gold, and this one features a spray of Aurora Borealis with also crystals. This one is a very gorgeous design because not only does it feature those beautiful open back nevettes, it also features a tiered design so you can see the sprays go over. And then it has this large faceted crystal that is actually layered within it. So this one has that kind of fireworks style setting, which makes it really fun to pin to any color fabric because you're getting the sparkle and the hint of the Aurora Borealis, which is obviously that iridescence that's going to pick up on everything. But that classic clear crystal, the way that it's set, also has that radiant attention that just pulls you in. 
So this one's also a really nice piece because it has a different design. Many times the medallion style brooches that we have here are very popular uh, because you can wear them in a variety of different ways. But the spray styles are also very iconic mid-century modern designs. And they also just have this really beautiful layered. So anytime you can see that three-dimensional style, again, it kind of sucks you into the design and really is very eye-catching. So this one's another great one because if you have a lot of yellow gold jewelry, this one is going to mix very nicely with your fine jewelry. Maybe if you've got some Tiffany's diamond by the yards, little smaller necklace or a solid little solitaire, this would be another one to mix with both your dainty pieces as well as your classic bolder ones. Also makes it really easy to be able to wear again with a classic pair of diamond studs. And also if you have a yellow gold tennis bracelet, that would be a beautiful piece to kind of complement and bring out all the sparkle that you see here too. So this one is just a fabulous piece. I can't say enough about it. I also really love that it's got the deep 18 karat gold plating on it that just makes it more elegant. And of course, again, it just has that very beautiful design. You can see with all the different layers uh, and then also the beautiful, beautiful navettes. And then last, like I said, you can see all the little open work that goes on. And so, of course, whatever color you put with it, you're going to get to see it behind it. So don't discount this one because this one also looks smashing against black. So that's another great selling point of this one. Okay, up next, we have got another truly fun, gorgeous piece. And this one also features those really, really beautiful Aurora Borealis stones. And this one is a vintage signed Regency. So Regency is a designer that is another American made costume jewelry. They were based out of New York. Uh, also really beautiful, luxurious designs, really nice beadwork that goes along with their things and also not as common. So it's fun to be able to find these really beautiful treasures from the 19th 50s, 1960s era, and also know that in addition to them being out of production, this one has got a couple different things going for it. The first of which is it has a really beautiful design, as you can see. It also has a very bright color. Remember, I always tell you all the time, I love wearing yellow with black and white polka dots, whether you've got the black with the white or you've got the white with the black. Uh, but the yellow is always a really pretty combination with those more preppy things. Also, this looks so beautiful against white eyelet. So for those of you who might shop at some of the places that I do, like Ann Taylor and J. Crew and Talbot, uh, you know, you frequently see eyelet blouses right now. You can also get some great deals on them as well. And this sort of style with, again, this little popped tier design, as well as these little clusters of the three Aurora Borealis going around, looks very beautiful with either a larger or a smaller eyelet. So this one is another one that's really, really easy to be able to wear, but it'd be fun to be able to wear this one also in the fall and in the winter season too. So this one is also, again, another nice size. So you can see again, this one is like a really nice medallion size, very easy to be able to wear on your favorite blouse or your favorite cardigan. Uh, also, the yellow is like a golden sunshine yellow. So it is a beautiful color that can complement and also it has just a cheerful look to it. So for those of you who also, I always remind you that the colors uh, are mood boosting pieces here, that this is a very vibrant, very beautiful beautiful yellow color. And it also has, again, that hint of Aurora Borealis. So if you look very closely while I put this one on and kind of rotate it, you can see the way that the Aurora Borealis even complements and picks up the pink. So another really fabulous find. Again, I really like this one also because if you put a brooch converter on this one, it'll be really easy to be able to wear this one as a pendant. And then don't forget my trick of that when you wear a cardigan, button up that top piece and stick it through and it's kind of like its own little mini sweater guard. Or since many of us don't wear a necklace with a cardigan, it's like having your own little pendant right across the buttons. So this one is a fun find. I love that it's a Regency. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can Google Regency and you can find out more information and it will be fun because again, you'll learn that it's one of the less common designers that we pick up here on a regular basis. 
Now, as long as we're talking about yellow pieces, we have got an awesome yellow piece this week. This is a vintage art glass necklace from the 1940s era, and it features yellow art glass stones, and it has Venetian wedding cake beads in between it. Uh, this is part of, like I said, our beads and brooches collection. One thing that I love to point out to people is that beads are a nice alternative to not wearing your classic gold or silver chain. They're also a really nice addition to your wardrobe, especially when it comes to the colored pieces, because again, you're picking something that is outside of the neutral. So what's fun about it is, is that many of us gravitate towards the same neutral colors over and over again. We wear lots of whites, lots of tans, lots of gray, lots of black. So this is a fun way to be able to incorporate a pop of color and not go outside of your comfort zone too much when you wear neutrals. Of course, these pieces look fabulous against your neutral colors, but they also look fabulous with whatever colors you're picking up in a design or a pattern. Now, this one is fun because like I said, this has got this very luxurious, you can see the beads are kind of textured. Um, they're blown and they have just a very light striation in this. I want to do clarify, someone asked me if I put this under a black light to see if it glows. I don't have a black light, so I have not. Uh, it would be falling into a category of a more prized collection. Um, why do we call them wedding cake beads? Okay, wedding cake beads is a type of lamp work that was made and done in Italy. And so the lamp work is actually a glass bead. It is usually blown with some form of color within it. And then in addition to that, it is literally layered with different kinds of patterns and different kinds of, I guess you could say it's not really, it's a different layer of glass that goes on top of the glass bead. It's a Venetian technique and most frequently, it features some form of a floral design, and then also it has sort of a little bit of gold weaved in across it. So the same way, if you're familiar with Murano glass, that is a glass that is blown like a bead, and then the gold is blown into it. The Venetian wedding cake beads, this is an actual 24 karat that has been literally layered across it. And if you get really close to the beads and if you study them online, you will see that there's actually even a very slight texture to them. Uh, many times these were brought back as souvenirs, but they were also very prized. Lots of bead collectors love Venetian wedding cake beads. Uh, in terms of them being called an actual wedding cake bead, it is also supposed to be reminiscent of the layers that you would see with kind of the frosting and the design actually on a wedding cake. So it's a fun kind of fact. Um, the lamp work that they say that goes into it is very intensive. And of course, all of this is hand done. So that's another thing that makes it really unique. And you can see all of these, if you get close to them, they've got a little bit of glittered swirl and then they do have that little floral design that has been layered on it as well. Now this piece features a sterling silver uh, hook inside a box clasp, but it is long enough. And this is a weighty piece. This is one where you can actually feel the weight of it. It is cool to the touch, just like a glass bead. And it also has got this very nice detail of having all of these very colorful beads that have been mixed in with the yellow. Uh, it's another one that it's a great piece actually because there's a little bit of black that's running through it. So if you love being able to wear black in neutral colors, this is another fun one. But as you can see, it's a nice longer length, which also makes it very desirable. Frequently we talk about how many people prefer the longer length. Uh, and also it is a chunkier bead. The yellow, of course, and the fact that it has the art glass beads that are swirled is another example of the lamp work or the fact that the beads are handmade. And also, like I said, every single bead is different. That's another thing that's really fun about these pieces is each one of them is individual and each one of them would have been decorated individually. So you do see when you get up close to all the little beads that are in between something different. And now let me see. 
Also, as long as we're talking about it, we do have some Venetian wedding cake earrings, and that's a better example of how you can see the three-dimensional texture. So this one has that traditional lamp work design. This is actually a rose-colored glass. And then this one features little swirls of darker rose. It has the gold. It's like a glitter with glass that has been applied. And then it has little dots of blue that are on it as well. So we have this earring which is like a button style. And this one goes really, really pretty with, for example, you can bring out the reds and the creams um, that you see within this and you see the different kinds of glitter with the cherry bake light. We have a white that features the Venetian wedding cake design. And this one has got a blue flower in the center, just a dot of yellow. And then it has the layered uh, 18 karat gold glass that has been put around it. This is another one that's really pretty to wear like with the color that I have on today. And so you can see this is kind of the rosy tone and this one is the white tone with the pink that's running through it. But wait, there's more. Uh, we also, if you like being able, and now the Venetian wedding cake necklaces that I have, and we had a pink one and we had a blue one, uh, all of those came from the same collector. Uh, they came out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So for those of you who are wondering, uh, and then we have a dangling pair that features the same kind of colors that you see within certain one of the beads here. But this one also features a little bit of blue. It's a white milk glass and it actually has some red and some pink on it as well. So this one's a fun one. Now, as long as I'm talking about all of them together, I talked about the necklace. But I also wanted to point out that for those of you who love milk glass, uh, all of the Venetian wedding cake earrings that we have, at least the two pairs that I'm gonna show you right now, go really beautiful with this double strand milk glass Vendome necklace that we have. Uh, so this is another great one. This one features a J hook closure. It's a double strand. And I would love to be able to show you the milk glass brooch that we had that went with it, but that little pretty is set in sale on its new journey off to its new home. So I have the little rosy ones on. I'm going to pull that one off. I am going to show you this is the white Venetian wedding cake earrings, and they go so pretty with the classic white milk glass as well. So for those of you who do like the wedding cake little earrings, and the little button styles are super comfortable. So this one goes so pretty with the white Vendome necklace with the double strand. And you can see that we're pulling up on the white that you see in the earring. We're pulling up on it with the white and the milk glass. But we also have a pair that's pierced. So we have a pair of, these are a white Venetian wedding cake earrings. And this one also goes so lovely with the white milk glass. And for those of you who have pierced ears, I'm not going to try these on because they're clean. But we have a pair of dangling beads that are also really nice. So all of these go really pretty with any kind of milk glass jewelry you might have. Uh, you can also definitely be able to pick up on different kinds of jewelry that have the pink as well, too. So lots and lots of fun pieces here, especially if you're just beginning to collect different styles of beads. So I'm a huge fan also of the double strand necklace that I have on now. I'm going to be very careful to get the J hook off. We're getting close to that moment, whereas the time takes by. It's kind of like probably when I'm trying to put the necklaces on, it kind of feels like probably when a baby's crying, it's probably going by really fast, but in my head, it's like going slow motion. So this is the vintage Vendome in the milk glass with the white beads. And like I pointed out, this one looks really pretty with the Venetian wedding cakes. And you can definitely be able to do the pair that has the little dangle on it too. The same gold findings that you see on the ends of this kind of match the same gold findings that were picking up on the double strand with the Vendome. Alrighty, now we also, I was saying earlier, I was talking to somebody when we were talking about how to start a collection. I was saying, you know, you should gravitate and look towards designers that were in business for a really long time. Uh, what that says about that is that 
those kinds of designers were very desirable amongst women who were shopping. And also they put a lot of quality and workmanship into their pieces. So their pieces were purchased very frequently by designers as well as from, you know, department stores. And so this is this very lovely vintage crown trafari necklace that we have. And it's with the speckled jade glass. And as you can see, this one has a very pretty light green color to it. Uh, it fits very comfortably on the neck. And these are glass stones, not lucite. So very nice detail, very nice quality, and very nice wear with the plating. It also goes very pretty with some of the other lovely pieces that we have in the green. So we also have a green brooch that features the Aurora Borealis and the green enamel. You can definitely pick up on the different shades that you're seeing in the necklace in this really lovely brooch. It goes very sweetly with the faux jade, this little sweet little guy that we have. This is a vintage Kenneth J. Lane. It's featuring a little lucite belly and it's a little frog. This one can be worn as both a brooch and a pendant. We also can put it really nicely with, I love the way that you can pull out the yellow with these little huggy style hoop earrings and you get the same kind of jade green coloring that you see in the necklace as you do in the little huggy hoop earring. Uh, so even though this is a little bit more of a contemporary design, it's still a vintage earring, but this is probably 1950s era. These are a little bit later, but you can still pick up on the same sort of green color that you're picking up that you're also seeing in the necklace. So this one is a, one that just lays really beautifully on. Again, this is kind of a lilac color that I have on today, and I really even like the green with the sort of lilac color. But this would also be really beautiful with a classic white. This would be very beautiful with like a gingham style or a checked navy shirt. Lots of different ways to be able to wear this, whether you want to go preppy or classic or contemporary. And remember, green is also one of those colors that is very flattering on a lot of different skin tones. You can make it more of a cool tone and you can make it more of a warm tone, all depending on what kind of clothing that you wear with it. So this is just a very, very lovely piece that we have. Um, it's also a weighty piece. Like I said, it's not lucite, so it's got the glass stones. Uh, there's no wear to the plating on the back of it. And also it's got a J hook extender and it is also signed Crown Trafari right on the little J hook. So that piece is another fun one that we have. Now I'll talk a little bit about this really lovely, this is a beautiful pinwheel style brooch that we have. It's most likely a made in Austria piece. This one features a riveted style design with clusters of little flowers. And it also has Aurora Borealis going around the larger little flowers that you see. And then it has some detail work with some little green leaves in between. This one is a nice size and a nice scale. We also have a very pretty pair of little button style earrings that match up to this one very pretty. And so this one's a nice size, nice scale, easy to be able to wear against a blouse. Remember, another one of my colors that I love, blue and navy together. I love green and navy together. So this one is another one that you could kind of put with a variety of different pieces. Now, for those of you who like a matching earring, we have a really fabulous, very sweet Aurora Borealis little layered pair of earrings. These are a hand wired one from the 1950s and they go perfect with this little green brooch. So for those of you who are trying to match up the same sort of Aurora Borealis colors that you're seeing in the brooch, the earrings are a very lovely match that goes with this one. So these are also little button style, very comfortable to wear. This one's another one that you can easily be able to put a little brooch converter on and be able to wear right again in the center. And this one also has a very, very nice quality to it. It is not missing any of the Aurora Borealis stones that are going around it. And you can see in terms of the detailing, all of these pieces are set with a rivet going around the little kind of circular mechanism that they have holding it all together. And then it has like a little classic pin back. And of course the rollover clasp is nice and tight. In fact, it's so tight 
it goes back in the other direction. It's also a lightweight one, very easy to be able to wear with different kinds of fabrics. Like I said, this is one that I would very nicely pop on with either a crisp white blouse or it would be super fun to wear with navy. That's one of my color combinations that I love to be able to wear that's in the summer. And again, this is another one that you could go very retro with, or you could go very preppy with it. So this one is a really fabulous find. The earrings go with it perfectly. Great piece, nice white size. You know, you can wear it with a variety of different pieces. Uh, and the earrings are fabulous too. All right, speaking of other pieces that are fun, we have a heliotrope watermelon bouquet here, which you are correct. This is flashing light and dark colored Aurora Borealis. Uh, the watermelon vitriol style stone that they call them is one of those ones that most frequently flashes from pink to green, as well as will pick up whatever kind of purpley colors you put with it too. So this is a vintage Emmons brooch. Emmons was again, another American costume jeweler. This one is set in a bouquet style. Uh, this one has the signature right here on the back. It also has this really sweet little bow that is holding kind of the bouquet all together. So this one is a very nice feminine detail to it. Uh, it has a little bit of sort of that kind of pretty whimsical feel that we love to think about in the 1950s, 1960s era. And also this one is just so beautiful with all the different colors that it has. So those vitriol stones make it very easy to literally wear it with whatever you want. Uh, it also, the stones are kind of cut like little blossoms as well too. They have like little petals going around them. Uh, this one again, nice size, nice shape, easy to wear. And it's another one that will literally go with whatever you put with it. So whether you're putting other classic gold jewelry or you decide that you would like to be able to mix this with other rhinestones, you can go ahead and you can do that. And of course, this is a great piece to wear against neutrals because it's gonna be a fun pop of color. So a huge fan of this one. Again, very nice details. Uh, if you look at the back, like I said, there's nowhere to the plating. And in addition to these little vitriol rhinestones that they have, all of these have a little center rhinestone that is also dotting all of the little pieces of the bouquet. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six stones, uh, and it's like a half a dozen. So it's a very pretty little bouquet style piece that we have. All right. What else do we have here tonight? So for those of you who are a fan, um, this is a Russian gilt finish. And this piece is a piece from Joseph Morton, who, for those of you who know the name, Miriam Haskell, uh, Joseph Morton was Miriam Haskell's nephew. Uh, he was also an apprentice to her for several years. He helped do some design work before he sort of tried to break out on his own. And also Miriam, of course, was a mentor to him. So if this piece has the same look and feel of a Miriam Haskell, you are definitely getting it. And in addition to it, you're getting the collectability as well as the attention to detail. So this one features hand wired, flat back and faceted rhinestones, and it is set in a layered tier design. And it also is featuring that Russian gilt finish as I was talking about. It features a roll over clasp and it also has got the hallmark right there, as you can see. So that Russian gilt finish, which is that deeper finish that I'm talking about, is a very iconic sort of style with the Miriam Haskell pieces. It's something that she became known for, uh, especially that besides the hand wiring and the different kinds of leaves. And then of course, there's all of the filigree work that you can see that goes into making these pieces in the back. Another fun thing is, is that her pieces that also feature the seed pearls are very uh, collectible as well. And if you remember during the week, I had picked up, and again, it was another one where people really talked about all the different brooches that we had showed them. And lots of people said that this one was definitely their favorite. So fun thing about this one is, is that when you look at it, those little stones, the way that they're hand wired, uh, they do like have a glittery or 
or sort of a sparkly effect to them. That's kind of the best way that I can describe it. And it just has a very romantic quality being set in the deeper gold tone. And then of course it has this very elegant spray of the leaves as well. Of course, it's going to be a collectible. Like I said, it's related to the Miriam Haskell style pieces. It's one that is always a very desirable piece. So it's another great one to have you considered for your collection, especially for those of you who are more avid collectors and for those of you who are just beginning to kind of set out. The Miriam Haskell pieces tend to always hold their value. So you can really feel good about this one. All righty. Next up. Oh, this one is so my favorite. This one is at Juliana and it is this absolutely dynamic sparkling blue camp clamper and it is set in the rhodium silver tone. Uh, this one is super fun. It has a hinge and it goes on and it's kind of like a cuff but it sort of sits medallion style. And this one is super fun because if you are like a jeans and a t-shirt girl, this looks so awesome with just jeans, a tee, a pair of black flats. And as you can see, it is just so sparkly. Now, another thing that's really great about it is the design and the workmanship. So this sits right across the wrist. It does not turn. And then the way that the hinge is, it's a side hinge. So it doesn't even open with the back. It's very secure and very comfortable. If you have a small, medium wrist, this one is going to fit you very lovely. And even if you have a very tiny wrist, this one is going to sit across because it has that going across um, and it goes from east to west. So this one is just so beautiful and it is just a gorgeous color. And, you know, this kind of reminds me again of those pieces that are like the sea and the sky. It is a deep blue like the ocean and it is just a light blue like you're looking up on the sky on a day that has no clouds. Uh, it also has got that really sparkly center stone and you can see that every facet sparkles and of course it is just absolutely expertly set. All of the stones are a closed back uh, and it just has even a little tiny hint of like a lighter aqua on the edges. So fabulous workmanship, really great detailing on it, uh, very secure and like I said just a really fun fabulous piece. That's what getting to be able to collect is all about, is being able to find these unique pieces like you can't find any place else. So huge fan of this one. Uh, if it doesn't get picked up by one of you, it's going to go into my collection because it's just a super fun one and it's really, really easy to wear. That's what I love about it. So we've got that gorgeous beauty. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple other fun ones. We have got that sweet little Kenneth J. Lane. I love this one because it can be worn as a pendant as well. So if you have an Omega style chain or maybe you have a shorter strand of pearls, this one has a hook on the back of it and you can see here and it snaps in place and you can wear this as a pendant. Otherwise, he can also be worn as a brooch and he is the perfect size to layer up with other pieces. So for example, we've got this really gorgeous 1940s spray style brooch. And for those of you who really like to deck out your jean jacket and layer up pieces, he looks really sweet with other green pieces as well too. He's also got that really pretty jade colored body and and the green will really pick up on like whatever lighter or darker colors that you want to be able to put with it. So this is another super fun one. He looked great with the other little critters that we had, but the little Swarovski ladybug and the little Kenneth J. Lane turtle are off to new homes. They're going to start their own new adventures someplace else. Another fun thing is that figural jewelry is always very collectible. So figural jewelry is super fun. Uh, it definitely has a little bit of playfulness and a little bit of character to it. So this is another one that is a great statement piece as well as a fun conversation starter. So he's also the right size and scale, as I mentioned, to layer up with other pieces. So he's a very, very sweet little guy. And... He goes really nicely with this mid-century modern bracelet that we have featuring the X and O design. Uh, now I'm gonna talk to you about how that while I'm putting this on, I'm gonna get nervous that the bracelet is not going to go on me while I'm trying to put it on. 
So for those of you who are a smaller wrist size, this is another really great piece. This one is with the X design. And again, similar to how I was talking about that crown shafari necklace at the very beginning of the show, this one is a fun one because these are glass beads, not lucite, and then they're set in that brushed gold tone. So many times people think that the pieces that have the O's and the X's are the hugs and the kisses style design. This one features little gold beads in between all of the little jade glass beads. And this one's a fun one because it goes all the way around. Uh, it features a fold over clasp and then each of the little X designs have just a very slight little texturing to them in the brushed gold tone. And for those of you who are looking for a piece to kind of match together with the sweet little Kenneth J. Lane frog, the same sort of jade green color that you're pulling up in the bracelet, you can easily be able to pull up in the sweet little frog pendant. Again, for those of you who are new and just joining us, Kenneth J. Lane is one of my favorite designers, and he is also a very collectible. He was known as the king of costume jewelry or fabulous fakes, and he also outfitted many of the great American women, including many American presidents, wives, including everybody from Jacqueline Kennedy to Barbara Bush, uh, that very famous triple strand pearl necklace that she wore frequently. That was a Kenneth J. Lane design as well. But Kenneth J. Lane is a very interesting designer. Uh, he was certainly not afraid of doing more bold things. He took a lot of inspiration from different decades going all the way back from, you know, the Art Deco era, but also he has lots of Egyptian revival designs, lots of pieces with figurals. And then one of my most favorite pieces that we haven't had in a very long time is he even did something with Wedgwood. So his pieces are fun. They hold their value. They are typically very, very good quality and condition. Like I said, heavy 18 karat gold plating. And another fun part about him is, is that he's had nine different signatures throughout the years. So you can actually even go online or sometime I'll show you. He's got all kinds of different kind of copyrights and different kinds of cartouches. And depending on how they're done with either the K, the dot, the J and the L, whether they've got the copyright symbol before or after are all great indicators of actually when these pieces were made. So that's a little fun fact about the KJL pieces. And that's why I always look and see how they're signed. Because like I mentioned, there's nine different signatures for how his work is done. And it goes very lovely with this mid-century modern bracelet that we have that features the jade glass pieces. So this one is another great one. And that one goes really nicely also with the 1940s spray style brooch that we have. We had the pendant to this one. That one is sold and off to a new home. This is the spray style brooch that features these sweet little kind of buttercup style flowers that each are dotted with a little rhinestone in the center. And this one is a great one to actually be able to wear up on the shoulder. Uh, and it definitely has that 1940s structured design uh, with sort of the very more structured style with the sort of swoop and the swirl you know frequently we see a lot of pieces that are curved uh, but they also have got very straight lines that go along with it so this one's fun this one is nice and large it has got the coil that is wrapping around the bottom of it and there's a lot of really fun very pretty green pieces that go with it as well uh, you could even be able to put it with the jade green necklace from crown Trafari. And you could even be able to layer it up and wear it with that other little green brooch if you love being able to put all the green colors together. We also, as long as we're talking about beads, remember this week's collection was called the Beads and Brooches Collection. We also have got an awesome lightweight blown lucite. You can see these have got little translucent and little open beads. This is a vintage Lisner piece. And this one is also a double strand. Uh, this one also has a J hook closure. So it's another one that's easy to get on and easy to get off. And it's also a double strand. So this one is a nice chunky one. Again, the same way that I like to point out at the very beginning when we were talking about the Cherry Bakelite Amber, this one is so lightweight, you can even forget that it's on. But it also goes very nicely with those, again, who want to be able to layer up and be able to wear a brooch. You can pull out the blues and the greens. 
uh, you can easily be able to pull out the blues and the greens, even if you want to wear the little Aurora Borealis earrings with it. And you can even match up the blues and the greens that you're seeing in the jade bracelet. So lots of pretty pieces that you would be able to put with this one. But this is another great one to be able to just wear with a white shirt scoop neck blouse. You can wear this one again with denim. And this one is also one of those ones that's super lightweight. So it's absolutely perfect to wear in the summer. So that is kind of where we're winding down tonight. We have a couple fun rings. Uh, a couple people asked, again, I'm going to just give you kind of a quick lesson. Uh, we typically don't suggest sizing the 18 karat gold plating rings. Now, there are jewelers that will size them for you more typically down than up because they're cutting the band and they're putting it together. Uh, when they're using it and they're expanding it, they have to be able to add more gold to it. So typically, they don't want to do that. The other reason why is the 18 karat gold and then also with the setting, with the CZs, you can't take any heat to them. Otherwise, they'll crack. So sometimes it becomes cost prohibitive because they need to be able to remove the stones in order to be able to change the size. So if you see an 18 karat gold ring on the on here that you love, there's a couple different things that I'll say about that. The first of which is we do sell ring snuggies. And if you need something to be very slightly uh, sized down or you don't want it to turn, the ring snuggies are a really great way to be able to make a ring smaller. You can also have a guard put on the inside of this uh, where the jeweler basically wraps something around on the inside and squares it off and that will also size it down. I will suggest sizing things down. I don't suggest sizing them up. This one is the little cluster ring and all of these are actually little semi-precious gemstones that are in here. Um, I've used the gem tester, the Presidium gem tester to test them. Uh, and all of them are actually little semi-precious stones, including a little peridot, a little topaz, a little amethyst, and a little pink tourmaline. So that is a fun fact about this really beautiful ring. Also, for those of you who do love rings, we've got a great 1960s cocktail ring, and this one will fit the bill because this one is actually adjustable. So this one features an adjustable back. It is a nice large size. So for those of you who are home giving yourself manicures or you're headed back out and getting them, this is a super fun one because it is going to be one of those pieces that is going to make your hands look naturally longer because it has that north-south styling to it. Uh, it's very comfortable, very easy to wear. The design is a very slight curve and it just goes so beautifully with many of the other pieces that we have. So it's got the magenta in it so you can pull out the pink and the red. It looks super fun with the cherry amber Bakelite. Again, you can mix it with the reds and the pinks. You can very easily be able to pull up on the yellow color by mixing this one with the yellow with the Regency. And of course, you can wear this piece with a variety of different colors, including the green and pull out the Periodo color too. So that's another really great fun piece that we have. And we have a nice little smaller ring. This one is sort of a cigar band style. And this one features a yellow, an amethyst, and a pink tourmaline style stone. And this one, again, like I said, is kind of a cigar band with little east-west oval-sized CZs that have been set in it. And this is another fun one to be able to mix with different kinds of colors. As you can see, you can bring out the pinks. Uh, here with the little tourmalines, you can bring out that yellow diamond color that you see on the side with the Regency. Uh, and you can even see that something like this even goes really beautiful with the Venetian wedding cake beads. So lots of different options. And again, this one is a nice size and scale. So it's not too big, not too small, really easy to be able to wear and for sure has the look of real. So very heavy, very nice 18 karat gold, no stretches to the back of the band, 18 karat gold over silver. Uh, and again, it's just a really great, nice size and scale. So that's it. We have a ton of beautiful pieces this week. Uh, the collection is just one of those ones that is full of pretty little pieces. And it has been a huge hit this week, too. So I really do appreciate all of your support. Uh, supporting small businesses definitely means more than you know. And I'm also really grateful that for those of you who have had delays with the post office, and I'm feeling it, too, okay? 
Uh, my daughter, who is 14, she really needs to sleep with a sound machine, and it has been just missing in action for over three weeks this week. So you are not the only one. I sympathize with all of you uh, for those of you who have faced delays. Now, I do want to say one other thing on that before we pull the names for this week's drawing is that we haven't had anything not show up yet. So we've had things that have been significantly delayed, but we haven't had anything that hasn't eventually made an appearance somewhere. And for those of you who do have questions about things, I do want to let you know we do offer Route, uh, which is a shipping insurance. Uh, and if you select that at checkout, if something is missing for more than 15 days, even if it doesn't arrive, they're excellent at paying out. Uh, we recently, we've only had to file two claims with them with the entire year and you can file it even yourself and they will refund you pretty much instantly. So, and that is a very, very minimal cost here to us at VMM. And it's a very minimal cost for you too. I want to say it's like a dollar 48 for hundred dollar purchase so you can feel really good about it okay here we come how are the cubs doing for nothing for nothing all right who was who so far had the big home run tonight rizzo. oh rizzo rizzo all right well i need your help tonight so last week we were giving away, hold on, a $25 gift card to somebody who headed on over to the blog and left us a comment. And for those of you, leaving us a comment means more than you know, uh, and we really do appreciate it. So this week we have got a number of ladies who have their names that are inside and Mr. Michael, this is a glass container and my parents gave it to me. So I'm not going to give it to you to shake up. You'll have to close your eyes and reach in. Here you go. Here, here you go. Go ahead. Pull out a name for me, please. So the winner of our $25 gift card this week is... Oh, dun, 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 dun. Who, who is it? Go ahead. Uh, I cannot read. It is Sheila Anderson. So Sheila Anderson, you are our winner. Thank you for leaving a comment on the blog. Uh, I believe it was about the one about jewelry as inspiration. Uh, so I hope that we were able to provide a little inspiration to you on how jewelry will really set you apart from the rest. If you haven't read that blog post, it's actually a really good one. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to give away another $25 gift card to all of you next week. And your homework is to head on over to the Vintage Meat Modern website and tell us by posting it here in the comments, what is your current favorite piece? So it's as easy as that. Ms. Leanne has already given you all of the links here over here on Facebook and in the group. So if your favorite piece popped up tonight, you can go ahead and you can add it here in the comments. Uh, and it's super easy to be able to play along. Now, last but not least, head on over to VMM and make one of these treasures part of your style statement. All of these gorgeous pieces are incredible style uh, statement and conversation starters, but they're also beautiful pieces to empower you and help you look your feel your best. Every single piece will set you apart from the rest. So thank you so much for tuning in. Head on over to VintageMeatModern.com. The beads and brooches collection has been a huge success, but there are tons of beautiful pieces that we talked about tonight. And this one is absolutely the perfect piece for you. So thank you so much for joining us. We had lots of people join us from all over the world. Don't forget to post a link to your favorite and don't forget to add a beautiful piece to your collection this week as well. So I will see you all again real soon. Bye.